Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Zoom Science Revision class. Today we are going to learn Unit 5, Electricity. We have already done this before. We are going to revise it today. Look at the pictures below. What do you think is required to make them work? Yes, you're right. Electricity. All of them require electricity to work. Now, we cannot live without electricity. So many things we use need electricity. Now, here are some facts about electricity. Electricity is all around us. We can use it to make light or sound. We can use it to heat things up or cool things down. We can use it to make things move. Mains electricity is very powerful and has to be used carefully. The electricity from cells is less powerful than mains electricity. Electricity moves in the metal part of a wire. The metal should be covered with plastic. Never use a damaged wire. Never put anything other than a plug into holes of a wall socket. It would be dangerous. Mains electricity can move through water. Never touch anything that uses mains electricity with wet hands. Never use mains electricity near water. Fill in the blanks. We can use dash to make light or sound. The first one is done for you. Here two options are given, A and B. You have to choose the correct option and circle it. So here we can use electricity to make light or sound. The second question, things that you plug in use dash, battery or mains electricity. Who will answer this for me? Very good, it is mains electricity. We need to plug a thing to use main electricity. Very good children. Mains electricity is made in gas station or power station. Which one is correct answer, children? A, gas station or B, power station. Excellent, it is power stations. Now question four, a dash can store electricity. A, wood or B, cell. What can store electricity? Good. It is cell. Now question five. Electricity moves through the dash part of wire. Metal or plastic? Wonderful children. It is the metal. That is why the metal wire is covered with plastic wire so that we do not get hurt. Let us see what other components used to make a simple circuit. We need a battery or a cell. It has two sides, positive and negative. And then we need a cell holder to keep the cell in there. And then a bulb holder, a bulb, and a wire that is covered with plastic. A cell pushes electricity around a circuit. It has a positive side with plus written on it and a negative side with minus written on it. You can see in the cell, children. Good. This working circuit makes a loop Electricity comes out of the cell at the negative end. It moves around the loop in the metal part of the wire. Then it goes back into the cell at the positive end. You can see children, 
the electricity is coming from the negative side of the cell and it is going back to the positive side. It is important for the circuit to make a single complete loop. If the circuit is broken, then the loop is not complete. Look in the first picture, children. Here, the circuit is complete. You can see the wire is joining both the side of the cell. Very good, children. The bulb does light up. And in the second picture, the circuit is broken. You can see the wire is broken. Yes, so the circuit is not complete. So here, children, the bulb does not light up. Look at this picture, children. The arrow is pointing towards a switch. A switch can be used to turn electricity on or off. Never touch a switch with wet hands. When the switch is off, it makes a gap in a circuit. The electricity cannot move around the loop. When the switch is on, the circuit is complete. You can see in the two pictures, children. In the first one, the switch is on. So the circuit is complete and the bulb lights up. In the second picture, circuit is not complete because the switch is off. It makes a gap in the circuit. Now answer these questions, children. Fill in the blanks. A dash pushes electricity around the circuit. A fan or a cell? Who will answer this? Correct, it is the cell. Never touch a switch with dash hands. The options given to you are wet or dry. Wonderful children, it is wet hand. We should never touch a switch with wet hands. Electricity can be turned on or off using switch. True or false, children? Correct, it is true. Electricity can be turned on and off using switch. Question four. Mains electricity cannot move through water. True or false? Yes, it is false. It can move through water. That is why we should never touch a switch with wet hands. Electricity from the battery is more powerful than mains electricity. Is it true or false? It is false because mains electricity is more powerful than a battery. Never use damaged wire. True or false? It is true because we should never use a damaged wire. Identify which type of electricity is used, battery or mains. The first one, children, if we need to plug it in, then we are using the mains electricity. If we are putting a cell or a battery, then we are using battery electricity. The first picture is of a hoover. Very good. We use mains electricity. What about the phone? Excellent. We use a battery. What about the next picture? The torch or the flashlight? Yes, we use battery. What about the next picture? Microwave. Excellent, children, you're doing wonderful. For microwave, we use mains electricity. What happens to the circuits given below? Bulb will light up or not? 
in the first circuit you see is the circuit complete no very good children so the bulb will not light up look at the second circuit is it complete are the wires touching the metal part no they don't one is touching the bulb that is the glass so will the bulb light up one will not light up wonderful children look at the next circuit here the switch is on or off it is off so will the bulb light up the bulb will not light up very good children what about the last circuit will the bulb light up yes it will the bulb will light up you have done wonderful job children points to remember electricity comes from the mains or from cells take care when using electricity means electricity can be dangerous never use a damaged wire never put anything other than a plug into a wall socket do not use electricity near water a bulb cell and wires can make a working circuit a bulb uses electricity to make light electricity can be turned on and off using switches thank you so much i hope all of you did your revision well so all the best for your test bye bye